The political aspirations of the Duchess of Sussex have been questioned following rumors that she would wish to succeed Diane Feinstein. Meghan Markle has come under fire for allegedly considering run for office in light of rumors that she wants to replace California Senator Dianne Feinstein. The 41-year-old has been advised by a rate royal pundit Pdina to concentrate on her duties as a duchess. She said to Royally U.S. of Us Weekly, It is not a logical next step. In my opinion, it discloses a great deal more about her true goals prior to her marriage to Harry. Given that you were married into the royal family, why would you ever want to do that? Your responsibility as a duchess is to support your husband in his charitable endeavors. What makes you want to work for the government? As a duchess, that defies logic. It only indicates that she has always harbored political aspirations. You don't simply decide one day that you want to become a senator. It's a long shot for Meghan to get the job, according to a significant Democratic contributor. Meghan is undoubtedly a long shot, but given the absurdity of modern U.S. politics, it's not impossible, they told the Mail on Sunday. Stranger things have occurred. This occurs after California Governor Gavin Newsom pledged to name a woman of color in 2021 due to growing worries about Feinstein's deteriorating health. He has also declared that he will not run against the group of contenders who have already begun campaigning for the position, which will be on the ballot the next year, and including Rep. Barbara Lee, one of the most well-known black women in the state now holding elected office. Following Feinstein's passing, calls arose for Newsom to keep his word. Some leaders even urged him to appoint Lee, which served as a reminder of the tense relationship Newsom had with a significant Democratic base. In a statement, Amy Allison, the creator of the political advocacy group She the People for Women of Color, claimed that Rep. Lee is the clearest choice for this appointment. Regarding the governor's thoughts, Newsom's political supporters and advisors stayed mostly silent on Friday. He also refrained from making any public appearances that would undoubtedly raise doubts about his upcoming decision. This is not his first time choosing a U.S. senator. He was previously entrusted with Kamala Harris' successor following her election as vice president. It was one of many appointments that Newsom made in late 2020 and early 2021 a position of authority that elevated him to the position of kingmaker among the state's aspirational Democrats. However, Newsom has made it clear that he did not want the less desired duty of choosing Feinstein's replacement. 